Hello, welcome back if you are an oldie but goldie, and hello, come on in if you are new. My name is Louise Pentland, I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle, and today I am partnering with Waitrose, hashtag brand goals, and working with them on their beautifully simple campaign, which is a range of recipes that you can make meals really quickly with, with great ingredients, and when I saw this, this is the spiced honeyed aubergines with harissa couscous, I won't lie, I was a bit scared. I did think that looks really complex and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that very well. However, I was pleasantly surprised. If you know me, you will know that I am not very good at cooking or I'm probably better than I think, but I don't really have a lot of confidence in myself. So making this for my family made me feel like I was about to win Mastermind. So I was like, look at me, chopping my aubergine, stirring my stuff. So, um, We'll get on with the video. I am showing you our after school routine with two children and there's a little hint of Liam in it too, which is a rare treat. So the first thing I have to do in the afternoon is get Pearly Girl ready to go and collect Darcy. Usually she's just woken up and she's ready for a change. Um, and if you have had a baby or looked after babies, you will know that just getting out of the house with a new baby is a bit of a mission all on its own. I think we have got it down now to a fine art. We usually leave a little bit earlier than I would normally leave to go and get Darcy. Um, and Pearl would generally fall asleep in the car, which isn't ideal because I need to feed her once I get to school. There she is, just snoozing in the playground. I get to school early and take a little seat in one of the chairs that they have and prepare Pearl a bottle um, we have a really handy little container that I can just pop the exact right amount of formula in so feeding her out and about is really easy and it's actually a really lovely part of my day because I chat to all the other mums and it's a bit of a social occasion for me so I quite like it. Doodle bug collected and we are off to Waitrose. I actually find it easier to go shopping with both the girls because if I want to push a trolley Darcy is really, really good at pushing our Duna buggy because it's so lightweight, so it's actually really handy to have uh, a little sidekick around the supermarket with me. Handily, they had all the ingredients I needed for my recipe out and the cards right next to it, so I didn't have to look very far around the store and Darcy helped me pick up some extras because I actually doubled up our recipe because the recipe we used was for two and I wanted to make it for four. And this is Darcy entertaining uh, Pearl. This is another reason why it's handy to have a sidekick with you on a shopping trip because she can push the push chair and she entertains. So we're all packed up and ready to go home. Right, we are home. It's five o'clock, which is a bit later than I would have thought we'd be home. I thought we'd be home about half four-ish, but I got chatting to one of my friends in Waitrose. I always bump into people I know in there. And then also there was super heavy traffic. So. We're a bit behind our general schedule, but I'm not too worried, I think we can catch up. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have just a quick tidy up and clean all the surfaces, and maybe a quick hoover, but I don't wanna wake Pearl up, so I'm not sure about that. And Darcy is going to do some of her little jobs for me as well. Darcy's helpful chores for me are to put away all the shoes in the hall. We've got a big cupboard in our utility room, so every couple of days, she'll go around the hall and pick up all the shoes that we leave out because we're messy and put them away for me which doesn't sound like a big job, but actually it makes such a huge difference in the hallway. And then I'll just crack on and clean all the worktops so that when I'm cooking, I feel like I've got a good fresh start um, to make something delicious. Once everywhere is really fresh, I'll sit down with Doodles, who always has a couple of books that come home to read from school. I'm not talking like novels here, I'm talking like these little kid books. She absolutely loves them and I am so pleased because I was always a bit of a bookworm as a kid and when she first started she found reading quite challenging but after quite a bit of practice she is really excelling in it which is so lovely to see. Everywhere here is nice and tidy thanks to our efforts and she's going to go outside and play with this ball that she nagged me for about three hours in Hunstanton to buy her so I'm glad to see that my £2.50 spend is getting its money's worth and Liam has come back in uh, from work and is playing with Pearl. Got a bit of footage. Okay, I'm gonna do my top chef cookery bit. I'm doing the spiced honeyed aubergines with Harissa couscous and it calls for one teaspoon of olive oil, one large, large, large aubergine, 
one packet of, well, 125 grams of couscous, two tables, teaspoons of um, Ruby Rose Harissa paste. I've never used this before. I've got absolutely no idea what this smells like. Oh my God, that smells really nice. That's really nice. If, the, if it comes out tasting like this, I'm gonna be happy. The juice of half a lemon. Um, parsley, mint, and two tablespoons of clear honey. And the first thing you have to do is quarter lengthways and then cut this into bite-sized chunks. Oh, hi, yes, it's me, Louise Pentland, the probably new uh, top celebrity chef. I'm just slicing and, uh, I don't think this is called dicing, but we'll just say slicing and dicing, although that's not what this is. I was quarterizing and chopping into chunks my aubergines. I actually did two because remember, I'm doubling up the recipe. And whilst I was um, preparing that, Pearly Girl is just being unbearably cute. It's very hard to get anything done when you have a new baby just bouncing around looking adorable. Darcy was watching a bit of TV, just having a bit of chill time. And then I went back into the kitchen and was like, Liam, Liam, film me pouring these aubergines into my, into my pan. Top tip would be to do the juice into a bowl first so you don't get any pips in your couscous. I had to fish one out. Um, and Darcy has come in to lay the table for us here with wild abandon um, and get everyone's water to lay out for them as well. And here we have the moment of truth. Is it gonna be a yes? Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a resounding success, Woohoo! I really liked it as well. It was so nice just to sit with everybody and enjoy a meal. It was lovely that Liam came home a little bit earlier and I don't think it's gonna be much longer that I can have Pearl on my lap soon. She's gonna to need to be in a high chair because she just wants to get in everything. So I took her up for a bath. I absolutely love doing this with Pearl. It's just such a sweet time of day. It's really calm. There's no technology or other jobs to do. It's just a bit of time for us to bond together and also obviously wash her. And um, we have these really sweet towels and I make like a bit of a base on the floor by the bath. So I lay all the towels out first to get her unchanged and then they're there ready for me once I've bathed her. So I'm just gonna pick her up. Oh, look at her. She absolutely loves being dressed and undressed. I mentioned this in um, my Pearl Nought Three Months update, but she absolutely loves it. Um, and she also loves the bath, which is really nice because Darcy, when she was little, didn't really love it that much. She was a bit of a crier, but Pearl is more of a water baby. I sometimes wonder if this is because she was born in the water. Afterwards, we just have some really sweet little cuddles. And these are like precious moments that I'll be sad that she'll grow out of because they're just so lovely. Look at her. Then once she's all clean and fresh and a bit dozy, I take her downstairs, put her in her bouncer whilst I make her up a bottle. Um, here we go, just gonna give that a little shake. And then I hand it over to Liam for him to do the nighttime feed and I'll go upstairs and put the shower on for Darcy and help her wash her hair. The time is um, five minutes past seven. Darcy is just getting her gym jams on after her hair wash and then she's gonna come in here We'll snuggle down and watch some Disney vlogs, which is our little tradition. If you watch the weekly vlog, you will have seen that a couple of times. And then she'll go off to bed. Liam will put Pearl into her bed in here. And then it's my evening and I've got some exciting things planned. Emails, woohoo. Usually I'll have a bath or sit and spend some time with Liam or do some writing or editing or emails. And tonight it is emails. Riveting. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that video, a little bit of a behind the scenes for you. Do use the hashtag beautifully simple if you share any pictures of what you've made and also I will leave a link below for you to find out more about it. Thank you so much Waitrose for partnering with me on this video. I have loved having you here on my channel and I will see all of you really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Of course, I wait for the baby to sleep to film the outro and then a plane goes over. That's your option. Your option was hearing a baby grizzling or hearing a plane overhead. I hope you enjoyed the option you got.